Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video of my 1977 Cutlass Supreme Brome. Um, there is a little bit of history to this car. I found this car uh, back in Ohio about uh, two years ago. Uh, this gentleman, Dave, actually uh, built this car from the ground up. Uh, and uh, some interesting tidbits about the car. When he went and uh, uh, pulled the roof off of the car, the car it was an original T-Tops car. Uh, the top of the roof was so roached and, and so rust filled he couldn't use it so he actually went ahead got a hard top off another car cut the roof off of this car uh, welded the, the, the new roof on and then after the car was complete and painted he went ahead and installed uh, the t-tops himself uh, the t-tops are phenomenal uh, everything fits like a glove they don't leak uh, they don't rattle they don't shake uh, he did an unbelievable job in installing them. Anyway, um, a couple of modifications on the car. Uh, it has the original 403 motor, which uh, Dave kind of just refreshed. Uh, he did not do any modifications to it. Uh, just a timing, uh, timing chain, uh, things along those lines that uh, just maintenance stuff. And um, as you can see, the car runs pretty smooth. Uh, in the engine bay, everything uh, is pretty much uh, stock or as it should be from the factory. The only changes that I've made uh, under the hood I, I, I changed the uh, brake booster. That brake booster was black. I changed it to uh, gold. I just like the way it looks better and I've been told they came both ways both black and, and, and gold so I don't know which is correct. Anyway um, the car sits a little higher um, than, uh, than normal uh, because of some heavy-duty springs he also has 19, I think they're 86 or 87 uh, steel wheels, 15 by 7s. Uh, I, I know the car is supposed to have super stock uh, uh, wheels on it, but I kind of like these and I think I'll leave it. I'll leave them. Uh, he also uh, put in uh, four wheel disc brakes. I think maybe I can pick that up on there. Um, so the car uh, stops uh, like a champ. Um, also, when I received the car, it was all black. I tried to make this car look like the first car I bought in 1977, which uh, I was really wanting to buy a Hearst Olds. Uh, and they were supposed to make the Hearst Olds that year, but unfortunately, the project got scrapped. So I put together what I thought a Hearst Olds would look like. Uh, and the reason why I chose this body style uh, was because the 75 was made on, on this body style. Uh, I do know that the prototype uh, that, that exists today was uh, was made on, I guess, the 442 um, fastback body style, or Cutlass S, I think it's called, I'm not sure. But anyway, I chose this, and unfortunately when I saw the Brome interior, I just fell in love with it, and I ordered a Brome interior instead of the Salon, which probably would have been closer to what a Hearst Olds would have been. Anyway, um, this is the first car that I bought. Uh, out of uh, Boston, first new car that I bought out of high school uh, when I first attended college and when I saw this on online I said I gotta have it again I, I uh, had the car pinstripe I put a vinyl roof on it uh, a good friend of mine Eric uh, did the honors and he did a phenomenal job I had the emblems uh, put back on the car uh, because uh, Dave the builder of the car welded everything shut um, the, these uh, emblems are put on with uh, 3M tape. Uh, one of my cousins who owns a body shop did that and you can't even tell. So, uh, did a great job. Anyway, uh, the car came with about 50,000 miles on it and what um, I've driven it probably about seven or 8,000 since I've had it. Uh, I've had it uh, two years. I do plan on bringing it to the Oldsmobile Nationals uh, next year. Uh, when when they host it. Uh, it, it got postponed this year, uh, so I will drive it uh, to Murfreesboro, Tennessee from New York. Uh, as you can see, the car does have dual exhaust. Um, uh, catalytic converter is, is obviously out of the car, but it sounds pretty good and it runs really nice and I just love driving it. So hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, this is my first attempt, so hopefully uh, you guys don't hate me too much, but anyway, that's pretty much my car. Uh, definitely uh, give me any uh, tips or 
uh, tidbits that I could help improve the car, which uh, it's pretty, pretty damn good if you ask me. Anyway, thank you very much, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon.